Hey, my legion. How y'all doing today? I wanted to talk about um, some sad things about Foreign Emory. Foreign Emory's. Foreign Emory .com and also uh, my future status on reviewing MREs. Now, if you know, I've been started, uh doing the food reviews. I think in 2014, I did a lower MRE review. They're expensive. And, uh, I did them a little bit, and then in 2016, I started doing them a lot. In 2000, you know, it's been somewhat of a recurring thing. Not a ton, though, but I have. Um, and I found last night during a live stream, my friends Art and Nina from foreignemory.com, they're really, uh, they started a YouTube channel, and they're doing great. Um, uh, I know them for a while. I mean, a, a few MRE reviewers have, uh, I've become friends of Art and Nina definitely the most, you know, and they have a great store. I've ordered from them before. I helped them sell some shirts and they sent me a couple of free MREs for helping them sell some shirts and they sent me that free t-shirt too. And, um, you know, I was talking to them, you know, I came on live chat because they're moderators, Art and Nina, very good people. Very relatable. That's why the YouTube channel is doing good. Because I remember talking to my friend Meredith. And she said probably one of the reasons why your YouTube channel is doing good is because I'm relatable. People can relate to me. And I agree. And, I, and you definitely relate to Art and Ian. They're good people. And um, they were saying USDA is cracking down. They said you're not. they're not allowed to sell any foreign MRE with meat in it. Uh, which really surprised Because I was checking out their channel and I always do you know I don't always comment but you know they're having you know they do giveaways and stuff like that and then I they had a, one for a Russian IRL uh MRE for a giveaway I said well, okay I put my name in there now all of a sudden I start seeing this USDA approved MRE and then USDA approved giveaway winner or something like that and it was something completely different I was like what's going on and uh and they said that USDA is cracking down. Said they're not allowed to sell any foreign emery anymore without that has meat in it. And I felt bad for them because they're always. If you watch the videos, you always see their inventory. They do a lot. They get a lot from a lot of different vendors, so they're out of a lot of money. He said they have some ideas. I think they left the live stream because I think I was asked too many questions. If there's a way that we can talk privately, I have some questions because I'm concerned for them because they're my friends. I don't want to be out of all this money. I mean, because I know when they were doing the Polish MREs, um, they got a whole bit bad b batch of them where they were shipped terribly and stuff. I don't think they sell Polish MREs anymore, but they were selling a whole bunch. I remember ordering a, uh, two English ones from them. And like I said, they sent me a free shirt and they sent me uh, a Spanish MRE, that, which was, that was vegetarian, and then a uh, Chinese MRE that was, had meat in it. And I did those on uh, live streams. And then they said that they were cracking down on like um, Amazon and eBay because that's where I usually get some of the MREs because they are expensive. I try to find the best deal I can. And uh, they said that they were giving like receipts for all sales they made and stuff like that. And they said they were getting in touch with food reviewers saying you can't review foreign MREs anymore because I've reviewed a lot of them. I've done stuff in China, Spain. Kazakhstan, <clears throat> which is Dank Panther's favorite one. It looked like it in a big trash bag, but it's like, well, I mean, it's just the look of it. It's so unconventional. Like, it's like a big thing you hold up, and there's three big pouches. There's a breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and you break them off. And, and they had, that had a lot of canned, and it was heavy, too. They had a lot of canned food in it. Along with Kazakhstan, England, Lithuania, uh, what else? Russia, of course. And then Norway. Because my friend, uh, well, I, I get back to that. I mean, but I hope they're doing all right. They said they have some ideas and stuff like that, but that's their base of their business. They call, they're called for an emory.com. I think it's a sad state of affair that, you know, USDA may it's not regular or something like that, but I mean, the stuff I had was always fine. I mean, that Russian brisket in that one Russian was fantastic. It didn't look that healthy, but it was good. I remember Heather was kind of, and Amber was a big fan of my Emery's too, reviews. So, I mean, it's just limited now to U.S. Uh, MREs, but I've reviewed most of them. I might do some cold weather, but 
that might be it for my reviews of MREs. Um, I know my friend Sagetto sent me some stuff from Norway. I still got a few uh, canned fish that he sent me. I got a review, but I haven't heard from him in a while. But I mean, if he sent me something, I might review it anyways. You know, but I mean, the last thing I have is this. This was 30 bucks. And this was a, a civilian uh, rash from the U.S., First strike rash. I never died. I did the 24 hour one. I had breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I mean, sometime I should have done that on Memorial Day, but and if you like it, I gotta review this sometime. This might be my last MRE review. I mean, they don't really do that well, but I don't know what some people that pretty much their own own whole function is doing MRE reviews. You know, it's definitely limited. You're not allowed to do that. I mean, a lot of those are really good. Oh, and I did one from French. France too. Those are really good too. It's a really a sad state of affairs that they're cracking down on. I had, you know, we get we get food items from other places in the world. I don't know why this would be any different. You know, they would say you're not allowed to do this. No, no one's gotten in touch with me over nothing. But I mean, my, uh, you know. Tell Art and Nina sorry that they're anything, but they said their idea. They're really smart. Though. I mean, they have some other. Uh, they even created some other neat things like the shirts and also these sports that have their uh, logo on them. But I told them, you know, you guys are my buddies. I'll have your support, and they said thank you. So that's my sad state of affairs with. Uh, well, not us, us sad state, not my state of affairs with them, but us sad state of affairs. Regarding foreignmre.com and my state on doing MREs on my channel, reviewing MREs. So, hope you like this video, everybody. Till next time, please. The Camera Legion. I know it was bad enough they replaced that, uh, the barbecue pork patty with the uh, Mexican burrito bowl, which was actually pretty good, but, or a chicken burrito bowl. I need to get rid of that pork maple patty. And I know DeSun and Victus and I were talking about. Like the old school ones when I was in the army. They were talking like the, you know, I said I like meatballs and barbecue sauce. It was really good. And then he said, we're talking about the ham loaf. And he said that got really dry sometimes. But it was good. The one I had was good. And he was talking about the frankfurters and uh, cabbage, which I never had. They called it the five fingers of death. You know, the soldier had word for that and everything. They had an omelet one and the soldiers called the vomlet. <laughs> it's pretty good. So I hope you like this video, everybody. Till next time, please. Camera Legion.